Hello everyone, welcome. Just give me one second here, gathering up my supplies and just giving Facebook a minute to catch up. I've noticed it's a little slow the last couple of days, so. And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And we're trying to do our part and stay inside, but it does, it's a huge disruption to your routine when you're used to being home alone every day. So I think I am all set. Just give it a second here. Perfect. Okay, so welcome. Today I am going to make a card based on a card from the North Shore Stamper. I am going to change it up a little bit, but not as much as I had hoped. Um, I'm a little low on time today, so, or time for prep work. I'm okay now. So, I'm going to start with a card base. This is on thick white cardstock. It is five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long and it's scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just going to fold that over like that. Somewhere around here I have tear tape. Get some tear tape on it. And I have this piece from the Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper. It's super cute paper. It matches our punches, hence the pleased as punch. So there was a little flower punch that's in the um, celebration offerings. I think it was a hundred and twenty dollar item. So you you spent a hundred and twenty dollars on other product, you get that particular punch is one of your options for your freebie. It also has this rainbow pattern, which I love. It also has these tulips on one of the other sheets of paper to coordinate with our lovely tulip builder punch. So I pre-punched these just because I kind of have to, I was working with scraps and then you kind of have to work around a little bit. Hi Valerie, welcome. So I'm gonna grab my tear tape here. So this particular piece, the rainbow piece, is four inches by five and a quarter. Just like that. There. I like it so that I don't see the back coming through on the front side. Basically, I'm being very picky. <laughs> there we go. So that's a good start. Next, I am going to take a piece of vellum. Now, Nor hi Amanda, welcome. North Shore Stamper had actually cut the vellum out with this largest die from the rectangles um, from the stitched So Sweetly dies. I love these dies. However, they would not cut cleanly for me on the vellum. I did try layering a piece of cardstock. My die cutting machine is getting older and I'm finding it's not cutting as nicely. So it doesn't surprise me that I had difficulties cover, oh my goodness, cutting it out. Um, so most would be fine, mine is not. So I am going to just cut a rectangle, but know that you could have these cute little, um, scalloped border with the stitching on it if you were to use these dies and you could get it to work properly. So just keep that in mind. Um, there's also, this is a, the one that I ended up using for the label because I absolutely love the shape. There we go. But you've got lots of options in there. So I am going to put those away. I wanted to show them though because they are super cute. So I'm going to take a piece of my vellum and because this was already down to four by five and a quarter, I am going to cut my vellum to three by four and a quarter. And I actually already have this cut at four and a quarter because when I was trying to put it through my die cutter, it um, I had to cut it in half to make it work anyhow. Oh, I think it snagged there a little bit. There we go. So the trick with vellum is that they, you want to hide the adhesive. So what I'm going to do is you can see how it's going to be covered here in the center. I'm just going to put my vel or my adhesive right there in the center. And you know what? We, a lot of people like to put their adhesive edge to edge. It really does not need to be. Hi Vicki, welcome. 
and put that down like that. Okay, and that'll be hidden once we get this on there. So there is a set of stamps that match these dies, but I actually hadn't used it. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna use what I have already opened. So I'm gonna use the Stitched All Around stamp set because I love this, oh darling, you are fabulous. So we'll get a block for that. And I thought it would be super cute anyhow with the tulips. reality is it might just be the fonts that I love but that's okay we're allowed to do that so I'm just trying to line it up on my grid paper I'm gonna pick it up turn it over make sure that it's relatively straight and it is so I'm gonna ink that up with memento I think my memento is getting a little dry there we go Okay, hopefully I'm relatively straight. <laughs> In a lot of ways I did that backwards. You could completely stamp that then die cut it and it would work well, but I already die cut. So I'm going to take this and I have some dimensionals. I love this rainbow paper though. I think we all need some rainbows and sunshine these days. Make us happy. Okay. There we go. So we got our Oh Darling, You Are Fabulous. And I think I actually want the purple tulip. And I'm gonna adhere that there and I'm gonna put the leaf just like that. So cute, simple, very springly, springy. I'm gonna actually move it up just a touch, only to allow the leaf to go in a little bit easier. I was pre-punching these out of scrap paper I had, and tulips I had enough to do the number of cards I wanted to do, but I actually am having a hard time getting enough leaves. And you know what, that's not, there we go. Not going where I wanna go. And sometimes we just have to improvise and I should have had a dimensional underneath. So I'm just gonna lift the corner there and I'm kind of thinking it just needs some jewels. So if I can find some regular rhinestones. Actually, you know what? Why don't we go big? <laughs> Uh, maybe not that big, <laughs> but I'm thinking one there. I love these faceted gems, but I find that they're they're huge, and some I don't use them as much as I really should. So there you have it, and so these are right out of the designer series paper. And look at the variety. Like I could have done yellow orange they all would have been super cute the pink I actually am gonna make some more up as customer thank yous and some red so you get the idea and for the ones where so some of my leaves couldn't be perfect so sometimes the leaf will just tuck in behind the tulip instead I'm having a hard time showing that apparently um but just like that like you can you can make it work all right, so that ended up being a lot faster than I had anticipated, but thank you so much for joining me, and hopefully um, this brings some sunshine into you, into your homes. So if you need the supplies to make this card, you can shop online in my online store at lisahenderson.stampinup.net. 
At this point in time, UPS is still delivering door to door, which is awesome. Shout out to all of them and to all our nurses and doctors and, um, and healthcare professionals, PSWs, the secretaries and clerks, everybody that's making the world go around right at the moment. So thanks so much for joining me and have a great day and I'll check back in next week. Thanks. Bye now.